We're doing the operating instructions for the Lyman Lasher. How to load the wire and how to operate the machine. The first thing to load wire on the Lyman Lasher, we're going to load the left side of the machine. And what you have to do is screw the flange off of the left hand wire spool in a clockwise direction. It is the left hand thread so it screws off clockwise. Then you take the coil of wire. To prep the coil of wire, you cut two ties off of the coil, pull out the end of the wire, and drop the coil on the wire spool. Feed the end of the wire up behind the long roller. Then you cut the other two ties and pull out the wire ties. So you have all the wire ties pulled off of the coil. Then you take the flange and you screw the flange on the left hand thread in this direction. And you want to tighten the flange as tight as you can tighten it to hold the coil of wire. And there is a, to hold the inside spool from turning, there is a hole to put the end of your cutters to hold, to hold the machine from turning, hold the wire spool from turning and tighten the flange up as tight as you can tighten it by hand just like that so when you pull the wire you pull the wire and it turns the spool counterclockwise that is the direction that it is supposed to turn follow the arrows to show which way the wire goes Okay, stop. Okay. After loading the, the coil of wire on the spool and it is going in a direct rotation, we need to set the brake in the center of the wire spool to the right tension. We do not want too much tension, preferably on the loose side. So we'll put enough drag so the coil of wire will not turn free. And that sets, that's all the tension that you need or all the drag on the brake. It just keeps the wire spool from turning free. Okay. Now we're going to turn the machine around and load the wire spool on the right hand side. To load the right hand side, we spin the flange off clockwise because it's left hand thread. Now that we've removed the flange on the right side, we're going to prep the coil and place it on the machine. We want to cut two wire ties and pull out a length of wire and place it. The easiest way is to push the wire up underneath the long roller and slide the coil on the wire spool. Then you want to cut the cable ties that are left and pull them out. Then you want to place the flange on, be a left hand thread, you want to turn it counterclockwise. And holding the inside with your finger or a tool, 
Tighten the flange as tight as you can tighten it. Here is the hole that you hold the spool from the inside through. There's one on each side. Okay. 